So, this is where I live, and over here I live with five dogs. No, five dogs. Actually, they're supposed to be six, but because of circumstances I can't control, I only have five of them around in my home. Yes, I actually do live with five dogs around here. And I want to introduce them to you one by one. And I'll start off with the biggest ones. I've learned a few things about their character and I'm going to be sharing them with you guys. So stick around right through to the end. So this is Bella and I've already introduced her on the channel. She's a German Shepherd over a year old, maybe one year, two months old right now. And she's really, really big. I haven't weighed her, but I can assure you she's at least 40 kilos. She's really big and she looks lovely. She's a shoreline German Shepherd, so not very, very good for protective work, but she can certainly do lots of protection. As you can see her, she has a very nice color. She looks really, really good. And I'm going to be breeding her. She listens to orders very well and she's quite brilliant at learning. Now, as you might know, a while back, I had decided to start training my dogs and teaching them the basic commands. But as life is, it became quite difficult for me to train her and the other dogs on what to do. It became quite complicated. But yesterday and today I've been trying to remind her and I can actually get her to sit. I can get her to, well, become free and move. And I can get her to go down quite easily. She's quite easy to teach. Let's try it out. She loves to jump. Yeah, she loves to jump. Now in this bag, I actually do have some feed. I do have some some dog feed that I can use to lure her into the different positions. So I'm going to try to get her to sit down. Come on, Bella. Okay, sit. Yes. Free. Good girl. Come on, good girl. Oh, now that's the problem I usually have to deal with. When she gets excited, she wants to jump all over me and I don't like it when she jumps all over me. I don't know what I need to do about that. But usually what I try to do is calm her down, you know, just relax and make sure she's not as excited because when she gets really excited, it becomes troublesome. She gets me dirty, she's jumping and she won't listen to the commands. Okay, Bella, come here, come here. Sit. Good girl. Down. Okay. Free. Good girl, good girl, Bella. So as you can see, I really can't get Bella to go down without lowering her into the down position. Ah, okay, sorry, sorry about that. I can't get Bella to go down without lowering her into the down position, unlike the sit. So that means the down has been a little bit harder for her to learn. If I'm like, Bella, down, nothing, she has sat. She hasn't yet learned the down thing, but it's only by lowering her into the down position, okay? Good that she'll be able to go into the position. For the sit position, it's quite easy. Come on, come on, come on, come on, no, 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 no. Come on, Bella, sit, good. So going into a sit is quite easy, yeah? She has kind of mastered that. Something else I'll tell you about Bella is that she hates cats. So one of our neighbors around actually has a cat. And uh, every time the cat passes by, Bella backs. Bella will move around the entire fence backing at the cat. And this cat, I feel like sometimes it does it intentionally just to annoy Bella because Bella certainly won't climb up onto the fence, you know. Um, it's high up there and the cat can easily move inside there. So that's been causing us problems because the entire night Bella is backing at the cat because it feels like the cat is provoking Bella. And it's understandable. It's also enjoying its life. But because of that, we rarely sleep and we barely sleep. The neighbors barely sleep. And that's been a problem. So the solution we got is that we let Bella out during the day and then we shall keep her in her kennel in the night. So Bella gets out of her kennel at about 6, 7 a.m. And then she gets back into the kennel at 11 p.m. So between 11 p.m. and 7 a.m., Bella is now inside her kennel because she just can't help but back the entire night and people won't sleep. So yeah, that's Bella for you. So I'll take Bella out and I'll go and get Bella's friend. That's Vinka from the kennel. All right, Bella, let's go. I'll actually just leave Bella over here. I have a chain right here so I can leave Bella right here. So here we go. I'll just put this on her. Good. And then I can get my leash out of her. And this is the leash I'm going to be using to tie Vinka because Vinka doesn't have a leash. So let's get in and get Vinka out. Hi Vinka. Meanwhile, 
Bella lives over here. So during the night, Bella sleeps over here. And you can see that the kennel is quite spacious on the inside. And here is Vinka. You can see Vinka. So let's get Vinka out. Okay, come on, Vinka. Come here. Good. Good girl, Vinka. Now that Vinka is tied up, I'll tell you about her. So this is Vinka over here. And unlike Bella, Vinka is also a pure German Shepherd, but she's a working line German Shepherd. And that's very easily visible from her body. As you can see, she's generally a smaller dog, not big. Her fur and the color is not as fancy as Bella's over there in the background. Her snout, I believe is called, is a bit more pointed and longer, unlike Bella's, which is quite shorter. This is really pointed and way longer. And her temperament is a bit more complicated. She's quite hard to train, really, really hard to train. And I'll tell you the truth, since I've been really busy, I haven't spent a lot of time trying to train Vinka because it's quite complicated. But that's something I'm going to be working on. Now, Vinka is very, very good for protective work. And yes, both Vinka and Bella were spending the nights outside, but currently they're not spending the nights outside anymore together because Vinka now spends the night outside without Bella. She spends most of the time outside and interestingly, she doesn't get as excited as Bella, yeah? She didn't get as excited. At the beginning, taming her was quite hard because she wanted to bark at everyone, you know? She would want to bark at everyone. But right now, no. She's really, really nice, you know? I can easily open up her mouth, touch deep in her mouth, and I'm not worried about it. Unlike some of the other dogs. So she's a really, really good dog. Like I've said, she's a working lion and I'm going to be breeding her. Now I'll show you that I can barely she can't follow any commands unless I use gestures and try to direct her in particular directions. Come on, Vinka, come here. Good, come here, come here. Come on, sit. Nothing, she won't sit. You see, she's sad, but that's, that was after a long time. And that's probably simply because I stopped and she stopped in front of me. Okay, good, good girl, Vinka. Okay, down, nothing. Lower her into a down. She's quite hard to train because she doesn't seem interested in anything. Come on, Vinka. Come on, come on. Come on. Come here. Did you just see that? I'm trying to call her and she decides to go into a down position. Quite complicated to train. I hope I'll be able to succeed. Okay, Vinka, come here. Come here. Good girl. Come on. Good. And you can see that her, her excitement levels are very, very low. And if a dog doesn't get excited, it's quite hard to train. Really, really hard to train if it doesn't get excited. It's difficult because her food drive is very low. She's not as excited about food. So I probably have to try out other things, but she's also not as excited about toys. Really complicated. Okay, Vinka, come here. Vinka, come. Okay, food for you. You see, I won't even lure her into a sitting position. Come on, Vinka, come. Okay, sit. Come on. Come on. I have food in my hand. She hasn't eaten since last night. And she's not interested in the food. This is what I'm telling you. So this is Vinka. Um, quite complicated. Quite good at the protective work at home. But then training her is really, really complicated. She's not very old. She's maybe, maybe nine months right now. Yeah. She should be eight, nine months right now. Anyway, it's okay. I won't stress her. That's her personality, that's who she is. I probably should have gotten a better dog in terms of ability to be trained. But the good thing is that she's not aggressive, yeah? So she's not aggressive towards the hip at home. At the beginning she was, but after a few times of training her and teaching her what to do and getting the people at home used to her, she became really, really nice and easy. So she's not complicated current. But well, I'll leave Vink alone and go and bring the other newer dogs. Okay. Ha. This is Marshall. This is Marshall and Marshall is a man. Unlike the first two, the first two are women. Marshall over here is a man. Really beautiful and Marshall gets really excited. As you can see, yeah? He's quite heavy for his kind of breed. Uh, I would say he's a cross between a Japanese Spence and a Maltese. I don't think he's a pure breed for any of the lions. But he's a really good one. As you can see, his color is not really pure white, but he's a really good dog. Now, he was given to me by a sister. Um, she happened to have four of them, four such small dogs. And they were living with her in her house, but she was living in an apartment setting. And because of that, Marshall was, I would say, the most 
and social of all of them. Marshall would bark at everyone who would enter the apartment premises, you know. Once they open the gate and get in, Marshall was barking at everyone. And I think it's because Marshall easily gets stressed out by new people. So since I live in a setting where there's really no new people coming into a home, you know, it's not an apartment setting, it became quite easy. It's easier for Marshall to adapt here. When I was first told about Marshall, I thought I wouldn't handle living with him because I was told he barks at everyone, he gets too excited and he's barking at everyone. So I was thinking, no, I don't want someone who does that, you know, who is barking at everyone. But hey, Marshall has been really calm. Marshall rarely barks, apart from barking at the cat, which is actually once in a while. And he does love cuddles. Okay, let's try it out. Okay. Ah, come on. Ah. As you can see, he enjoys being cuddled. Enjoys it. All right, Marshall, come on. Come on. No, 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 no. Don't climb on me. Okay, okay. Let's sit. Okay? Does he know that this is food? Okay, Marshall, come on, come on. Come on. Ah. He won't, he's not interested in my food. I hope it's not because he has eaten. Okay. He's noticed that there is food over here. Okay, some more food. You know, when they notice that there is food, it's a little bit easier, okay? Because you can use the food to lower her into whatever position you want. Okay, down. Ah, she got it out before she got into the down position. Okay, okay, come here. Okay, food, food, food. Okay, come, come. Down, down. Ah, he's not interested. So he won't get into a down position. Let's see if from a standing position I can make him sit. Come on. Come on, Marshall. Okay. Come on. Ah, he keeps pushing back instead of sitting. Yeah? Which is not really a nice thing. Okay. Okay, Marshall, come on. Good! He just sat over there. That's beautiful. Okay. Okay, come on, come on. Okay, down. Trying to get him to go down. I won't release the food until he gets into a down position. I won't. And he has refused. Okay, that won't work. Come on. Okay, let's try the seat again. Good! So usually when they do it the first time, it's easier to do it the second, the third, the fourth time. So it's quite easy for him now to get into a sitting position. This is the first time I've gotten him to sit. And it's been on camera. Okay, Marshall, come here. Come, 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 come on, get up. Okay, sit. Good! Easy, quite easy. Now, the problem is going to be getting him into a down position. Okay? Okay, down. Ah, okay, he got claws. It wasn't really it, but that's better. So yeah, that's it with dogs and puppies. Once they do it the first time, it becomes quite easy to do it the second and the third time. So that's what I'm going to be doing with him. And hopefully in a short time, Marshall will be able to sit and, you know, get down and do other things. Greet me on my command. As you can see, he's way more excited than Vinka over there. But hey, let's take Marshall back and I'll introduce the two other puppies. Meet Ami. So Ami over here is actually... I would say a very interesting character. Now, Ami is also a German Shepherd. How would you pronounce it? It's A-R-M-Y, Army. I think it depends on where you're coming from. We call it Ami over here, you know, the American Ami, the Ugandan Ami. So, Ami is a German Shepherd, but he's completely black. Yeah, he doesn't have any other color on him. And he's a working line, I would say, yeah? So, he's... Head and mouth is certainly way more pointed. He's going to get really big. He'll probably get up to Bella's size when he grows up. Right now, he's still really young. He was born on the 1st of July. So you can quickly calculate and imagine how old he is, depending on when you're watching this. Yeah. So um, this is a leash I'm using simply for this video but during the rest of the time really he's off the leash he's a really young puppy yeah so july august september end of this month he makes 12 weeks old he's been vaccinated for most of the diseases yeah and ami also hasn't really had any training i've just been trying to play with them still three months old in fact hasn't made three months so training them is not so so important isn't it so as you can see he's already gotten quite big yeah he's already gotten quite big and he spends his days outside, yeah? During the day, he gets three meals a day, you know, breakfast, lunch, evening, and then 
supper, in fact, four meals, yeah? And he's, he gets quite excited. Come on, Ami, come on, come on. Come on, Ami. Come on, here. Come on, come on, come on. And Ami is way more trainable than, than Masho and than Vinka. Come on, Ami, come on. Okay. Ah. So he's easily picked out the food from my hands. He likes to bite, by the way. Ami likes to bite. So he'll be biting my feet and legs, and that's the one problem I have with him. Okay? Okay, food. Come on. Whoa, nice. Let's try the seat right now. Okay. Good. So Ami is quite easy to lure into the sitting position. Same thing with the down, you know. Ah. Excited, okay, okay, I'll cuddle you, I'll cuddle you, my puppy. Ah, uh, how are you? Yeah, all right. Let's show people what you can do. He honestly can't do much, but hey, let's try it out. Okay, he now wants to play. You can get him into a down. Good! Easily gets into a down, yeah? Okay, come here, Amy. Come, 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 come. Okay, come on, come on. Sit. Good! Easily gets into a sit position. And down! Easily gets you into a down position. So yes, that's Ami for you. Like I said, he's, he's really a good puppy. He's going to be a working lion and he's going to be Vinka's mate. That's if I do decide to breed Vinka. Depending on what happens with time, I'll decide on whether to breed Vinka or not. Ami looks really trainable, yeah? And that's really a nice thing. The only problem I have with him is biting, but like all puppies, puppies bite, yeah? And that's not a big issue. So I know he'll outgrow that. So let me introduce to you the last puppy, the very last one that I have around. Come here, come here. Oh, come here. So this is S, and S is the youngest one of all of them. S was born on the 12th of July. So he's probably maybe getting to 10 weeks old right now. And S is a Shoreline German Shepherd, male, yeah? So he's going to be probably as big as Bella or even bigger because he's male. And his tonnage is going to be, you know, this brown area is going to be even darker, um, a bit more golden than Bella. And he's going to look really good. And he's honestly my favorite. He seems to be the most teachable of all of them. Come here, come, come. Okay, come on. Oh. You can see how easily he goes into the down position, okay? Come on. Come on. Come on. Good. How easily he goes into a sitting position. Okay? Down. Very easily goes into the down position. And he doesn't bite. Like, he doesn't bite. You know the normal puppy biting? Trying to bite your feet and legs. No. That's not him. That's not S. So S actually seems to be the most favorite of mine. And S together with Ami, actually spend the day out and then they spend the night inside the kennel because they are still young and you don't want to expose them to, you know, the cold and all that stuff. Once they make about four months old, you know, 16 weeks, then they'll be good to go and spend the nights outside. And S over here is going to be Bella's mate when he's of age, you know. Of course, he does love cuddles and being patted just like any other dog so yeah that's been my five dogs that i do have currently when the sixth which is actually snowy who is also a maltese um, comes back home i'll introduce her to you guys and she's going to be marshall's partner so for now everyone actually does have a partner if you haven't subscribed to the channel come on hit that subscribe button smash the notification bell that way you never miss out on an upload lots of love Bye!